Christina King, welcome. This is Tug, True You Group, and we ask, is your heart tugging you for a deeper spiritual experience? And having church services in many bite-sized form with music and all kinds of goodies delivered right to your home or wherever you are, you don't have to come to us, we come to you. And we do have people all over the world who tune in, and I just wanna remind you, once these services are uploaded, all you have to do is go to our website and they are there forever, 24 seven. So today I have something extremely exciting. This is our very first Tug Christmas presentation with our very own Cindy Jordan, who is our musicologist. And she is starring with her own songs and some uh, puppets. For those who are children or who are kids at heart, as the song goes from kids from one to 92. So I want you to share this with your kids, your grandkids, your nieces, your nephews, and even older people who can't get out and go see a Christmas program. And this one is going to be exceptional. I wanna start this off by a quote by Norman Vincent Peale. And he said this, Christmas waves a magic wand over this world. And behold, everything is softer and more beautiful. And it is. So we are so pleased to do this. Uh, Cindy has put together a short uh, video with pictures, songs, and even reading a children's version of the Christmas story. She is bringing her persona in as Nana Banana. She has nine grandchildren. You can't believe it because she must have started when she was two. She doesn't look that old. And when her one grandson was younger in Houston, they would go with Nana down to the beach and he would always bring his little uh, friends and they would want to call her Nana. And she'd say, well, no, I'm his Nana, but you can call me Nana Banana. And they loved it. And everyone laughed all the time and she did too. So she found this great hat this Nana Banana hat, and she's bringing in two of her favorite characters as puppets, and one is Lamb Chop, and the other one is Duke the Dog. And I want you to relax, sit back, put up your feet, enjoy this abbreviated, fun, upbeat, loving reminder of why we celebrate Christmas and that all the love that is inherent in this around the world. So take it away, Cindy. Hi everybody, it's Nana Banana. And I have a couple of friends I want you to meet. This is Lamb Chop. Hi. And we have Duke the dog. Hey Duke. Where'd he go? Oh. He's a little shy. Duke the dog is a little shy? Yes, he is. Come on, Duke. Come on, Duke. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm Duke the dog. So what song should we start with? Oh, that's easy, Nana. Let's do the happy birthday song for Jesus' birthday. Yes, I love Jesus. And I love Jesus too. Let's do happy birthday. Oh boy.
part of that Christmas is? No, Lamb Chop, what is it? Well, it's all the love that everybody just shares about each other. Yeah, L-O-V-E, love. Hey, didn't you write a song about that, Nana? I sure did. L-O-V-E, that's how I spell Christmas. Let's listen to it now. L-O-V-E. Yeah, that's how I spell Christmas too, Nana. You know, when I was a little girl, I used to sing the song Jingle Bells all the time. You did? Yeah, but I'm a songwriter, so I changed the words just a little bit so it could be about Jesus and his birthday. Oh, let's listen to that one, Nana. Yes, I love Jesus. Sometimes people forget it's Jesus' birthday. They get so busy with Christmas shopping and decorating and Christmas presents, they completely forget it's Jesus' birthday. How about if I read you the story of the very first Christmas? Oh, that sounds great. What do you think, Duke? Yeah, I want to hear it because I love Jesus so much. Me too. The Christmas Story, read by Nana. 
On Christmas, we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Many years ago, a man named Joseph and his wife Mary lived in Nazareth. One day, they had to take a trip. Mary rode on a donkey. Joseph walked by her side. They came to a town called Bethlehem. They looked for a place to sleep, but there were many people. There was no room for them. Finally, an innkeeper said they could stay in his stable. Joseph made a soft bed for Mary. They lay down to sleep. During the night, Mary's baby was born. She wrapped him in soft cloths and laid him in the manger. She called him Jesus. In a field not far away were shepherds watching their sheep. Suddenly an angel appeared. The shepherds were afraid. But the angel said, Do not be afraid. I have good news. A Savior has been born in Bethlehem. You will find him lying in a manger. Then there were many angels. They said glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, good will toward men. When the angels left, the shepherds ran to Bethlehem to look for the Savior. When they found the manger, they worshiped the baby Jesus. This is the Christmas story. Jesus Christ, our Savior, was born in Bethlehem long ago. We celebrate his birth on Christmas Day. I have one more song I want to share with everybody. What's that, Nana? Let's celebrate Christmas. Oh, I like that one, Nana. I like that one a lot. Yeah, a prayer that comes from my heart. I love that song, Nana. Merry Christmas, everybody. Yes, everyone. Merry Christmas. I love
just love that. And I want to tell you too, Cindy has got a whole uh, cadre of children's materials. She is an award-winning songwriter and she is also an author and she's written a number of children's books as well. And she has a short program for kids called Walking with Jesus. And it's complete with books and music and coloring books. And we will be uploading that soon. And this is the kind of content that we want to expand uh, to bring you because we know that people are longing for connection. And if you are longing for connection, my request in prayer is that you will connect others with Tug and you will share our services. You will share our meditations. Just look under the meditations link with Susanna Cox or some fabulous stuff. And keep your eye open for children's programs because that is coming really soon. And I also want you to just let people know what we're doing. People all over the world, we're also doing a two minutes that can change your life Monday through Saturday. Everyone has two minutes and I post them on our YouTube channel under True You Group, T-R-U-E, U Group. And I also post them on Facebook. Please let us know what you think. Give us some feedback. What would you like to see? Email us at trueyougroup at gmail.com if you would like to have an input just let us know what you've got. Also, please tell us if you have a prayer request or anything that you would like to share that has come out of this uh, organization with, with Tug. We've only started this at the end of September, so we've only been going about three months. And we just love bringing this to people all around the world. If you feel that we are sort of a, a church home to you or an adjunct to what you are doing with your church and your spiritual life, you can support us also by hitting the donate button, which is PayPal. And we thank you all for uh, donations. And also on patreon.com forward slash true group, you can make a monthly donation and I just can't tell you how happy we are here at Tug to be able to bring these messages to you, bring this fun music, meditation, and more. So Merry Christmas. Remember, Christmas is spelled L-O-V-E, love. We love you. We bless you. We behold the Christ spirit in each and every one of you. And we'll see you next Sunday.